Welcome back to the Ease into Retirement podcast. I'm Tom Mosley, your host. And if you'll give me up to 15 minutes, I promise to do my best to build your financial knowledge. The reason I hesitated a little bit there is I want to do several things. I want to I want to build value into the time that you're spending listening to this. I want it to be important. And number two, I want to educate you. We are in a series called The Potholes of Retirement. You know, like going down a road, if you're not careful, you're driving, you hit a pot co- pothole, it sometimes causes immediate damage, but more often than not, it just begins to wear and tear on the suspension and the alignment of your car and the tires. And before you know it, you've got a lot of expense and you've cost yourself a lot of money because you hit that pothole. Well, that's what these podcasts are about. Basically, our theme is this, the damage from potential potholes in your retirement plan can be prevented if you do proper planning. You can prevent it if you do proper planning. Now, last week we talked about a couple of potholes, and today we're going to talk about pothole number three and pothole number four. Let's get started. Pothole number three, inflation normally takes a bigger bite than you think, and if you're not careful, that can be a pothole that you hit. You know, I I heard a little funny the other day about inflation and trying to explain it. He said, it said inflation is where you just paid $15 for a $10 haircut that you used to pay $5 for. So if you're going through that, then you know exactly what inflation is. And there's some amazing statistics that are out there on inflation. Uh, Fidelity did a statistic recently And you can actually do this on your calculator. You don't have to listen to Fidelity. But if you need $6,000 a month or $72,000 a year, and you say, well, I don't know if I need quite that much, maybe only five. All right, but think about it. Because last week, one of the potholes we talked about was taxes. So if you need $5,000 spending money net, you're probably going to have to take out maybe maybe according to your situation you might have to take out 6000 to net 5000 so if you need $6000 a month that's $72000 a year now if you trace that for 20 years which most of you plan on a 20 year retirement at least some of you are going to have 25 30 maybe even 35 years of retirement that you're going to have to live off of your income and we're talking about the pothole of inflation If you trace inflation from $6,000 a month for 20 years at 3% inflation, then you're going to need, instead of $72,000, you're going to need to cover and buy the same amount of material or things or whatever. You're going to need, instead of $72,000 a year, you're going to need to be taking out $130,040 a year at 3% simple inflation. So you've got a plan for it. I also saw some illustrations that at 3% inflation, and you can calculate these out as well. If you go buy a car, it's not unusual in our day and time for you to spend $50,000 on a good automobile. At 3% inflation, if you have 3% inflation over 10 years, and you keep a car for 10 years, oh, you're going to buy another car most likely in 10 years The car that cost you $50,000 right now is going to cost you $67,196. And you say, well, I keep my cars for 20 years. Well, if you keep your car for 20 years, you bought it for $50,000 right now. In 20 years, at 3% inflation, you're going to have to spend $90,306 to buy the same $50,000 worth of value that you can get right now. A lot of people are so afraid of money. They say, well, I want to take the risk out of my money. I want, to, I want to bury it. My father, when he passed away in 2014, shortly before he passed away, and it was taken out of the safety deposit box, my, my father had $92,000 in $100 bills in a brown paper sack in a safety deposit box because my dad didn't want to lose anything. Well, my dad passed away, so he really didn't lose anything. But if if you put a million, $1 million and you just put it in a brown paper sack and you just spend the money when you need it, in five years, it's all at 3% inflation. It's only going to buy 
what today 860,000 would buy. And in 10 years, it's only going to buy what today $740,000 would buy. And in 15 years, that drops to 640. And if you bury a million dollars and dig it up in 20 years, it'll only buy $550,000 worth of today's value. So you've got to account for inflation. It's got to be something that's built into your plan. How do you prevent the damage? Well, you look for investments that as things inflate, as inflation weighs on things in general, those investments are generally going to grow. Well, if you're in equities, if you're in things, if you bought stock, if you bought mutual funds, the thought is no promises, nothing guaranteed, but the thought is those equities will rise in value along with inflation. Real estate is another position that normally, normally when inflation begins to run wild, the price of housing generally goes up along with it. It's a position to help you continue to grow with inflation. Now, the numbers I gave you on growing a portfolio and needing at 3% inflation, you say, well, well, if, if I lose purchasing power to those numbers, or if cars cost more and more and more, or if instead of needing $72,000 a year, I need one hundred and thirty. dollars what happens if inflation goes to an average of 6%? Well, exactly. That's why you can't afford to bury the money or you'll lose purchasing power faster and faster and faster. So one of the potholes is inflation usually takes a bigger bite than you think out of your retirement plan and particularly your income flow. So you need to prevent the damage by keeping yourself invested in equities and stock and mutual funds and real estate, which generally, no promises, but generally move along with inflation and grow with inflation. All right, pothole number four, you might outlive your savings. It's a very real possibility, particularly if you leave it invested in the market, because the market not only has its rises generally when inflation goes up. We just talked about that equities go up, securities, mutual funds, stocks usually go up when, it, when, when inflation goes up. But the market also has its downturns. In the years 2000 to 2002, if you look at that overall picture, the market went down over 40%. So that's bad. Well, in 2007, from September until March of 2009, during that 18-month period, the market went down almost 54%. So if you're in the market and you're depending on your savings and all of your investments are invested in the stock market, the risk you run is when the market goes down 50%, if you're taking all the risk of the market, you've got half of the pot to draw your money from. But guess what? You probably need about the same amount of money. So in essence, unit-wise, you're taking out about twice as much when the market value goes down to 50%. So you deplete your assets faster and faster and faster. So you literally, pothole number four, you might outlive your savings if they're all invested in the market. You say, how do we prevent the damage? Well, there are ways that you can secure your income for life, or and you can match your portfolios to your risk. Now, you know, a lot of people, they're used to accumulating. They're used to growth. They retire and they come in for a strategy session in the first year. And we used to call those reviews, but reviews look backwards. And, you know, what did I make this year? Well, a bigger question for you in retirement is not how much did I make, but how much is my money going to last? And is it going to last as long as we do? And, and, and if you're married, is it going to last? Are you going to have enough income? And is it going to last as the two of you? And if you are married, if, is it going to last as long as just the one of you is alive? And if you're single, is it going to last as long as you're alive? So is the money going to last? You might outlive your savings if it's all left at risk. There are ways through, through products that are called fixed indexed annuities 
And many of you who work with us have chosen to go that route to secure all or a portion of your income so that you have secure and with the ones that we use, increasing income for as long as you live or if you're married for as long as both of you live, you're going to have that portion of your savings guaranteed, set aside, secure for income as long as you live because you've passed that risk along to the insurance company. So, so that is something that if you've never addressed it, you really need to take that a look at it and say, would those be for me? You can put your, your income bucket into something really secure, but it's probably not going to keep up with inflation and the por purchasing power is going to diminish over a period of time. Or you could put yourself into something that is insured, that's going to be guaranteed to be there for as long as you live, as long as both of you live if you're married, and it's never going to go away. Those are the kind of things that you have as options to overcome and to prevent the damage of pothole number four, which is you might outlive your savings. Hey, listen, I hope you're gaining something from this. We'll be back next week with two more potholes as we look at the potholes of retirement. And I want you to do this. If you like this or you know somebody who needs this, forward this past, this uh, this podcast along. Encourage somebody to listen to it. Subscribe to it if you like it so you'll get a reminder of it every single week and you'll know that it popped up there. And until then, I'm Tom Mosley, your host, and you give me 15 minutes or today less than 14 minutes and I promise I'll do my best to build your financial knowledge. I'll see you next week. Investment advisory services offered by duly registered individuals through Mosley Wealth Management, Inc. MWM and Mosley Insurance and Financial Services are affiliated companies by common ownership. License number 0K76766. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength claims paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This content is intended for informational and educational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. All hypothetical examples are provided for illustrated purposes only. They do not represent real-life scenarios. Mosley insurance and financial services nor as agents or representatives may not give tax or legal advice. Individuals should consult with a qualified professional for guidance before making any investment decisions. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. Some of the information provided may be from one or more third parties, which we believe to be reliable sources, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Mosley Insurance and Financial Services.